This is iPhone 5C. Newer, faster, cheaper, and a little prettier, Apple's much pre-hyped new phones. For those with the urge to splurge, the 5S will start at $199 with a contract and come in, well, the colors of jewelry. A rainbow of citrus colors for the budget bound, the 5C rings up at less than half its pricier sibling, but still a reach for many in the emerging markets that Apple wants to reach. Forrester Research's Charles Golvin. What's surprising a little bit is what they've done with pricing, because I think there was much expectation that trying to reach a broader audience, especially in emerging markets, was going to uh, drive the price down. They haven't done that, and I think it speaks to their belief in their premium brand and, and customers' willingness to pay for that brand. And while looks do count, in this case, after the initial attraction, what's inside will be what really counts. Tech entrepreneur and CEO of AppMaker Social Radar, Michael Chasen. What I don't think people realize is the tremendous improvements they've made internally in the iPhone, uh, both a 64-bit chip, which will allow for much faster processing across all of the apps. But then even more importantly, what Apple announced that hadn't been talked about before was the fact that they're now including a uh, coprocessor, an M7 coprocessor, that's just going to be dedicated and focused to people's uh, movements and the ability to track people and the gyroscopes and other directional components all within the iPhone. And what this means is a whole additional level of applications that can be developed. Another highlight, the fingerprint technology. Cool as a new security system, but radical as a tool for more. But this could unlock a whole new wave of uh, banking and financial transfer applications that you know we haven't yet seen developed to date. The less expensive 5C can be ordered Friday. The pricier 5S model is out a week later. And in a move to beat back rivals like Samsung, will go on sale in China at the same time as in the U.S.